Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to present uh, this work that um, happened at the NHS uh, Trust in Nottinghamshire, where we um, developed our own tools to work with um, healthcare data. And I'm excited to give a short summary um, of how we tackled some of the challenges that we had in our job um, with um, tools that are available now. First of all, um, let me show you um, the team that is um, um, also played quite a big role in this because um, as I will highlight later, um, we all have different backgrounds um, and they were crucial for this uh, to work because some of us had um, uh, experience in SQL and some in, in R and some had a lot of experience working with the data. So, um, it um, at the time it was Laurie and Zoe and me who did a lot of the work, but since um, um, Olwasin and Chris um, have also used the package and tools that we've developed to um, uh, work a bit more repeatable. The challenge that we had is um, uh, that we work, we have a lot of data available that we wanted to work with, but unfortunately it was not in the format always that we um, wanted the data to be to do our analyses. And um, we had to come up with ways of um, reshaping the data, tidying the data, um, and also checking the data, um, which um, was a bit tricky doing it um, or um, the way it was done before. And I want to highlight um, some of some of this in, in a quick example. Well, um, you can imagine that we have different servers with different um, tables and views illustrated by the small squares here. And we want to combine the data. And to make sense of the data, we might have to join different tables in one database and then um, join it to data from another database um, and so on and so forth. And the way this was usually done before was um, lots of single scripts flying around and um, being sent to each other by email. Sometimes um, some things were also on GitHub, but there was no um, reproducible way of um, doing all of this and especially also to share um, one way of um, doing this with other colleagues. Um, and one problem was also that um, if we someone found a bug in the code that it was tricky to distribute um, a fix across the entire team. Um, if this wasn't packaged. So um, with all the challenges um, uh, that we has, um, we were trying to find ways that make it easy for us to get data and to tidy data, to analyze and visualize data, to document the code and to test the code. And with the experience um, that we had available in our team, the um, what we came up with is um, writing our packages, and some of those packages also had um, Python functions running in the background. Um, but I want to, um, just for simplicity, only um, talk about the the R packages that we um, we did. So here's a very um, high level overview of some of the packages. Um, that we did and how they work together. And um, I will only talk about the NOTS HC data package, which um, we developed um, to be able for us to query the data in R um, and um, manipulate the data. And the, so the, the way this, this worked, like we, we didn't come up with most of these things. Um, we used a lot of the tools that are available in our studio to work with um, database um, uh, uh, objects and different databases. But we wrote our own um, little wrapper functions um, using the infrastructure that, that already exists, um, primarily through dbplyr, which um, uh, I think I link at the end of the presentation. And the main workflow that we came up with um, that helped us um, in our daily job was that we always had a function to get a specific data set 
then to tie these specific set, um, data sets and um, perform um, um, a subsequent analysis on the data. And what I want to do now is give you two very simple examples um, how this looked like and how that was different to the way um, this was done before. For example, um, one of our tasks um, was to sometimes um, figure out the admission length of um, someone in our system. And that's relatively easy if we're only looking at um, admissions that happen within our region. But it gets a bit trickier when we're also trying to consider admissions that happen outside of the Nottinghamshire region. And um, so we, what we would have to do is look at the external spells and internal spells and then figure out a way to add those um, admission days up. And um, that was relatively tricky previously. And we could, using this structure of the R package that we developed, um, um, write a lot of um, wrappers around this. And in the, in the end, all we had to do was one line in the command line, which is calculate admission length for a particular client. Um, and we could specify additional arguments in that function, depending um, um, whether we were interested in maybe a gap of two um, days between the external and the internal admission and get our results. And this was previously could have been, um, I think it was 200 lines of SQL code. And um, we could reduce this to essentially a line of code. Um, another example is um, that was relatively complex before, but um, we could automate it um, um, quite nicely using the tools that we developed is calculating or figuring out what teams someone is um, seeing at the same time as seeing um, the, um, a particular team. So we could define a primary team um, a specific time frame, and then see um, all the other teams that individuals who were seeing the primary teams were open to at the same time. And that was relatively tricky before, and um, you can see that yeah, I'm trying to below um, illustrate how this was done um, using our approach. We would get the referrals um, but, um, for the primary teams, for the secondary teams, and then um, do some joins and get a nice table. What we try to do with this, um, to sum this up, um, is we try to automate recurring tasks um, that in a way that it's easy for us to distribute our code across our team, um, come up with a more consistent workflow across all the people that um, do similar tasks, and um, try to identify the modules um, that are repeated and um, try to disaggregate data, um, the data side and the analysis side so that we could um, work on data manipulations um, in, in, in different scripts to the analysis, um, um, to the analysis step. All of this is also written up in a little bit more detail in, um, in a blog post. And um, some of the things I spoke about today are also, I think, available on GitHub, but, um, but not everything. Thanks.